Hello, this is Teacher Benjo or Teacher Benjamin Joseph Bilimibao from the city of Balanga National High School. Welcome to another episode of our science blog. And we are talking about human impact to environment. You know, this topic is pretty close to me because like I love nature and I just mesmerize because of the beauty of the environment that we have here, particularly here in Philippines, in Bataan. So, um, I want to, this is actually one of my advocacy as, as a teacher, is to increase the awareness of the students about how humans impact the environment, all right? Or what are the different things that actually humans impacts the environment? Or what are the activities that actually does negative thing to our environment? And that is actually our topic for today. So for, our to th- for today's learning competency, um, it is for us to t- suggest ways to minimize human impact on the environment. And how are we going to do that? So there are a lot of things that we have to know that actually does impact the human environment. Okay? The um, environment. Um, we have here ways human impact the environment. First is in the picture, it is evident or it is, it is clearly seen in the picture that it is overpopulation. Overpopulation has grown into an epidemic since mortality rates have decreased. Medicine has improved and methods of industrial farming were introduced, thus keeping humans alive for for much longer and increasing the total population. So overpopulation, um, since we are overpopulated, it pretty much affects our environment as well. Next is pollution is everywhere from the trash thrown out on the freeway to the millions of metric tons of pollution pumped into the atmosphere every year it's obvious pollution and waste are inescapable so this has been our biggest one of the biggest threat against our environment is the pollution and we humans need to do something about it we really have to be careful on the things that we do so that pollution won't be a further damage or won't be won't further harm our environment next is global warming is the arguably the greatest cause of impact on the environment the largest of causes is emanating through carbon dioxide levels from respiration to more detrimental causes like burning fossil fuels and deforestation well global global warming we all know that it is a negative thing you know it's too much heat and global warming is happening because of the human activities that we have over here and we have to mitigate that we have to control that all right next is we have the climate change climate change is closely connected to the historical development of industry and technology as global temperature increase earth's weather patterns will drastically change while some areas will experience longer growing seasons others will become barren wasteland as water will deplete in vast areas turning once floral regions into deserts so climate change is happening not not because it is just natural but then it's because of the human activities that we have over here so it's happening now actually we can actually feel it Uh, for example it's supposed to be raining but then it's too hot or it's supposed to be too hot but then it's raining that is actually climate change it's changing the natural uh, way or in the natural climate that we have over here is actually changing because of the human activities or because we are um, violating uh, we are violating the law against pollution for example next is water pollution there are 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic debris in the ocean not only is garbage introduced into the oceans but also the excessive amount of fertilizers that find its way into the ocean through rain floods winds or dump in excess right into the largest producer of the oxygen we have so us for us since we are living in the coastal area in bataan philippines or since philippines is a pacific island you know um we want to ma- we want to ensure that we are not violating water pollution because water pollution actually tremendously affect the human the environment 
Okay, so water pollution is definitely a human activity and it actually impacts the environment. Overfishing, on the other hand, is not inherently bad for our ocean, but when we not properly regulate it, it can be detrimental to our oceans and people. Overfish stocks globally have tripled in half a century, and today, fully one third of the world's assessed fisheries are currently pushed beyond their biological limits, says the WWF. Even more so, billions of people rely on fish for protein. So, when we are actually fishing, for those who wants to become a fisherman someday, it's okay to fish. We just want to make sure that we get in a, what is enough. And we don't overfish because when, once we overfish, there, the imbalance between the environment happens. So we want to make sure that we, we get to have the perfect balance whenever we, we fish. And we don't overfish. We don't do over because once we reach the word over, then we are doing it uh we are not doing the right way you know so overfishing is actually one of the human activities that actually impacts the environment next is deforestation deforestation refers to the decrease in forest areas across the world that are lost for other uses such as agricultural cropland's urbanization or mining activities greatly accelerated by human activities since 1960 deforestation has been negatively affecting natural ecosystem biodiversity and the climate change recently as years goes by we can see evidently the true meaning of deforestation because there are a lot of uh, forests that being converted into different use uses like agricultural croplands and urbanization or even mining activities. Um, particularly here in Bataan, there are a lot of forests that are being cut because or in Philippines, there are a lot of forests that are being converted into a commercial area or agricultural area. You know, it depends upon the, the, the what the human wants you know and we really have to be more careful about deforestation because deforestation it actually uh, affects the natural ecosystem by diversity and it actually causes climate change all right next is we have the ozone depletion the ozone layer is renowned for its ability to absorb harmful ultraviolet rays that would otherwise be detrimental to the health of all walks of life. Without an ozone layer, walking outside would be unbearable. All right? So it actually protects us. But because of the negative human activities that we are doing, it actually destroys our ozone layer. So what is happening is ozone depletion. And um, if we can counter these negative things by being more careful in the activities that we are doing that is actually affecting our environment, then we can save our world and we can save our environment. So as young as you are right now, uh, grade 8 students, um, what I want to emphasize here is you have to increase your awareness about these different activities and how it actually affects our environment so that you can educate a lot of people that surrounds you, alright? So that pretty much ends my slides for today. So these are the important things or important topics that actually affects our environment, overpopulation, pollution, global warming, climate change, water pollution, overfishing, and deforestation and ozone depletion. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something for today. Once again, I am Teacher Benjamin Joseph Bilimibao, your science teacher vlogger for today. And see you soon, alright? You guys take care. Bye-bye!